lawmakers return to Tennessee's Capitol Hill tomorrow, and today they propose the rules they will have to follow. Some of those rules during last year's special session were blocked in court after a lawsuit claimed they were unconstitutional. State Capitol reporter Chris O'Brien brings us inside some of the likely changes. In a packed House committee room filled with Covenant parents and other stakeholders, lawmakers set draft rules for session, which starts Tuesday. And the people are looking for, you know, decorum, respect on the House floor, and uh, we really need to get back to that. During last year's special session, the House enacted several new rules, including closing one of the audience galleries, preventing signs, and escalating punishments for lawmakers who spoke out of order. They did not bring back the signs rule, but did keep punishments for those lawmakers ruled out of order. If it happens three times in one day... You will lose the ability to speak on the floor for two legislative days. Democrats tried to push back on that, requesting that if the speaker rules a member out of order, that they at least provide an explanation of why. People were not understanding why they were called out of order, and, and oftentimes members was voting to rule someone out of order but didn't understand why the person was ruled out of order. The Speaker of the House can rule members out of order for any number of reasons, but the main one that came up last year was often with Democratic representatives Justin Jones and Justin Pearson. Speaker of the House Cameron Sexton often ruled that they were speaking out of the scope of a bill, but didn't say how, leading to the request for a change from Democrats. But Republicans denied the change. The no's have it. I'm sorry, that one fails. Another interesting proposal from Democrats was one to restrict firearms in committee rooms. It failed by a wide margin, but one Republican did vote for it. You remember just recently there was a video of a guy attacking a judge. You know, and emotions get pretty high in committees, and we've seen that lately. So uh, it's just something to consider uh, for the safety of the, uh, the public. In Nashville, Chris O'Brien. Now, lawmakers are set to finalize rules on a vote tomorrow. Of course, we'll be on your side with coverage of the start of the session.